This video is an overview of my process for creating my most recent artwork, The World Creation Ritual. I first sketch the 2D part in GIMP, then head to Blender for the animated 3D thingy. Afterwards, I create a new page in my artist-focused website builder, the Protocodex, where I upload my artwork, add supplementary material, and create an embedded merch store. I'll first go through the process of using the protocodex with the finished piece, after which begins a time-lapse of the whole process. The final GIMP.xcf and Blender.blend files are available on my site for free for anybody to use. Creating a page in the protocodex. I start on the settings page cropping what will be the Twitter card background image and the logo. The settings page is also where I set the URL that leads to this page. Next I adjust page styles. I already set the background to black and the text color to white. Now I'm changing the main accent color from peasant green to fancy gold. Next I start creating components. Here I'm making a simple text component. It's the title of the page. I go on to make a few more of these. Here I skipped ahead a little. I added a video and an image component. I start adding some sources I used for my piece. First, the initial sketch, which I'm editing a bit to display online. Adding a title. Drag it to the end. And then add a new image component. I have the option to crop my image, but I use the original. After I've created the image component, I make a few more edits, like adding rounded corners. I then add some resources I used for texturing. In this section, I create a link that leads back to where I found one of my textures on Reddit. I take a moment to decide what kind of link I want to use. Let's create a merch store. First, we're going to create a store component. Let's call it store. I'm going to leave all the default settings for now. I'll get to them and their differences later. Let's create that. Now that we have a store component, we can add product components. They're linked to a store. I named mine very originally store, but there are others. We're going to leave it at store. Let's call this one bird ritual. Let's make this a shirt. Okay, so now I just need to find a good... Yes, that looks like it'll work well. This is a physical product type. So let's create a product. Okay, so right now I just have these basic types of merch enables. I'm going to be adding lots more different types soon. We want to do a shirt. Let's go for this one. I'm just going to go for all of the colors to choose from. And um, let's do all of the available sizes. Set the prices. Um, so here I love two different ways to set prices. One is where you can set the exact amount of profit and then you can set values for all like this but and then change individual ones and that will change uh, the final price over here but I like to have a nice clean final price so I tend to just vary the profit based on uh, the sizes because there's different 
price base price points for different sizes. So uh, it seems like this all this is why 3XL always kind of trips me up a bit. Um, but let's see. So it seems like it's uh, it's all around 22. So I can round it to a nice 25. But uh, well. Maybe that's a bit much. I don't need nine dollars of profit. You know, I'll, I'll keep it at like twenty-two dollars. Uh, so let's confirm these prices. Now this is our printable area. Since we have quite a wide piece, it's going to fill the whole printable area. Generally, it looks best when you just align it in the center there. I like to add a little bit of rounding in the corners. You can add a lot, but this just generally is nice for sure. Uh, let's do it like maybe yeah, eight pixels seems like a good amount. And we can generate the mockup files. Okay, I'm going to choose a few. That should do it. Let's review the whole thing. Okay, we have these four preview images. These sizes, these colors, the final prices are all nice. I'm going to save it. And now here you go. There it is. You can see how this works. So you click on it. it shows you the whole checkout page. Use traditional line drawing techniques to create your initial sketch. Gently place it in your scanner. Open it up in GIMP and you're good to go. go, 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 go.